Welcome to the NACE International Certification Renewal Guide video. In this video, you will be shown how to renew a certification using the Certification Portal software. To renew your NACE certification profile, please sign in to your NACE.org profile using your username and your password. Once you have signed in, please use the Profile function in the upper right hand corner to access your profile. When you have accessed your profile, please use the My Certification Portal link to access the certification portal to renew your certification. When you have signed in to your certification portal, you will be greeted by your profile. The profile will show you if you have any certifications available for renewal the date that they expire, and what items are required to renew this certification. You will be required to provide 18 months of work experience within the most recent three years, as well as professional development hours also within the most recent three years. Upon entering sufficient PDH information, you'll be prompted to click on the Home button to return to your home page. You will see that your application now indicates that it is ready to renew and that your PDH entry bar is complete. Please click Submit Renewal. Please ensure you are filling out the correct application. This example uses a CP1 Cathodic Protection Tester application as an example. For work experience, Please ensure you fill out all items marked with a star as those are mandatory for the purposes of renewal. Please ensure you provide company name, your service date, the type of work, including whether or not you were in a responsible position of authority, the category, addresses, and a full list of your duties. Please ensure that you provide as much technical detail as you can related to your daily, weekly, or monthly duties as they pertain to the specific certification you are renewing. If you are renewing coding inspection, please ensure that your information relates specifically to coding inspection duties. If you are renewing cathodic protection, please ensure your information relates to cathodic protection. For more specialized forms of certification renewal, do please try to ensure that the information matches that specific area of specialization such as internal corrosion or maritime. Please be sure to include a third-party reference for the purposes of verifying experience. In this case, third-party reference means an individual other than yourself or NACE International. This can be a supervisor, manager, long-term or repeat client, fellow professional engineer, or senior employee. The requirement is that they should be able to explain the work you have done and vouch for it. Please ensure you complete all items marked with a star. Once that is complete, please read the Code of Conduct. The Code of Conduct is a binding agreement to follow the instructions as set down by NACE International. Your digital signature is your agreement to abide by these rules. Your digital signature is placed under the applicant affidavit here in this space. You click into this space, type in your signature, either your initials or your name, and then select pay. On the next screen, you will be prompted to enter payment information. Please select the required payment type, enter your credit card or other details, and confirm your order in order to complete your certification renewal by paying. Once your certification renewal application has been submitted, it will be sent for audit. You will be informed of the audit process as the screen here will indicate its current process. There is both an initial audit and, as needed, subsequent further detail audits. This area here will indicate how the progress of the item is proceeding. If you need to check on the status of your certifications, you may select the 
My Credentials button to determine what the status is at this time. Once this item here has an updated expiration date, it will have a green check mark indicating that your certification has been renewed and that your digital credentials are being produced for you at this time. If you require additional information, please visit the NACE Institute website at naceinstitute.org. You can see the various requirements that we have under Renew Your Certification in our topmost navigation menu. This site will provide you with information for certification renewal procedures, requirements, various tools to indicate how programs interact with each other, and additional guided videos for functions such as the Submission of Professional Development Hours, or PDHs. If you have any inquiries into the various policies that affect certification, you may also access the Certification Resources tab and find the Guides and Policies webpage. All items here are publicly accessible and downloadable. If you have any additional inquiries, please contact the NACE Institute. We appreciate your business. Thank you.